whether a particular nucleophile prefers to do direct or conjugate addition to an alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compound depends on a particular property of the nucleophile called its hardness or softness. I like to think of hard nucleophiles as little ball bearings. They are small, dense, and have their negative charge localized in a pretty small area. Soft nucleophiles, on the other hand, are like big koosh balls. Big, squishy, and they have their negative charge spread out over a larger area. Because hard nucleophiles have their charge so localized, their reactivity depends largely on electrostatic effects. They're attracted to positively charged electrophiles. For this reason, hard nucleophiles tend to be attracted to the carbonyl carbon of alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds, and they do direct addition. Lithium aluminum hydride and alkyl lithium reagents are classic examples of hard nucleophiles. Soft nucleophiles, on the other hand, have quite delocalized charge, usually in relatively large homos. Because of this, soft nucleophiles don't care so much about electrostatic effects, but care more about orbital overlap. Since the LUMO of alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds is largest at the beta carbon, that is where soft nucleophiles tend to attack. Iodide, thiols, and thiolates are great examples of soft nucleophiles that almost exclusively do conjugate addition. The two types of organometallic reagents we've encountered so far, organolithium and organomagnesium reagents, are both pretty hard. Organolithium reagents exclusively give direct addition, and Grignard reagents usually do as well though with substantially less selectivity than their lithium counterparts. There is a special sort of organometallic reagent based on copper that are quite soft. Their softness arises from the fact that copper, all the way at the right-hand side of the transition metals, is much larger and less electropositive than either lithium or magnesium. These sorts of reagents can be formed either from adding catalytic amounts of copper 1 chloride to Grignard reagents, or from the reaction of two equivalents of an alkyl lithium reagent with copper 1 bromide. In the latter case, we produce a lithium dialkyl cuprate, R2CuLi, which is really an ionic compound that looks more like this. Its homo is sigma carbon copper. These organocopper reagents selectively perform conjugate addition and are useful tools in making new carbon-carbon bonds. To summarize, hard nucleophiles like lithium aluminum hydride and organolithium reagents selectively perform direct addition to alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds, while soft nucleophiles like iodide, thiols and thiolates, and organocopper reagents selectively perform conjugate addition.